today we will see about the circulatory system the circulatory system have three types first one is a open circulatory system and which you can find in the insect and then single closed circulatory system which you can find in the fish and the double closed circulatory system which you can find uh, from the frog but this double closed circulatory system which is really incomplete and then double closed complete circulatory system which you can find in the human being so many of the diploma students are not taken the taken up the biology group so just we will have some brief about about the insects and frog or the fish like we can have one overview so that you can very well understand about the human circulatory system if you see this is the one hypothetical picture of an insect this is the head and this is the dorsal portion of the insect if you dorsal portion of the insect if you this is the dorsal and the inter will be enter insect usually will have some segments segments in this their body they will have some segments uh, this this is like a there is a fountain there is a fountain like apparatus which is present inside this insect this fountain like apparatus which is present in the middle of the insect which is acting like a heart of the insect and this uh, this in the dorsal part in the back this one what happened this like this pump this is the down part it is act like a heart it has got the some of the pump like a structure which is present which is pumping the from down part to the head side part it is pumping the blood so in between this uh, this segment section there is small opening which is present that is called astia it's like a valve like a structure which will be present so what is happening so here the when this milking is taken place from the down side part of the body to the head once this is go when this pressure will increase then the blood will be flow to the body of the segment of the insects it will be going then when it is emptying the flood will be coming back back again when it is relaxed the slit will be opening the valve will be opening so the back blood will be entering back so the metabolical waste also there is no different structure it will be again taken back and through this pump it will be taken to the alimentary canal and it will be getting excreted not like a other this one so this since it is all the lymphatic system and the circulatory system are together so if you see uh this the blood color of the this insect blood usually will be in a greenish in color so it is called it is it is called hemolymph hemolymph it is called hemolymph the body cavity which is present which is called the hemoseal hemoseal which is this one so this is called this is why it is called open circulatory system the first one the blood is not staying inside the chamber this is called the aorta it is like a primitive structure which is present it is called the aorta and this what is happening this act like a heart but it is not a real heart so it is called no blood is staying it is coming and flowing and circulating it is very slow body surface of area of the insect is very small so this system is okay to circulate the this one Uh, insect so it uh, it will be better for the insect for this system so it is act like a heart they do not have real heart in the insect next if you see the circulatory system of the fish you can see the fish has got the two chambered heart so th there is not like a insect there is a blood is going and staying somewhere we can see if you see this is called the atrium and this is acting as like a ventricle so this is atrium and ventricle so down to the atrium there is called sinus venosus so the sinus venosus also have some valves or present in the valve it is acting like a sa valve sino atrial valve and then this atrium which is having valve the which is opening in the ventricle it is called av valve so the fish is having a two 
fish is having the two chamber two chamber heart not like a insect there is one apparatus down to which is present is a sinus venosus same way in the ventricle there is one apparatus which is called gonus pulpus you have you can have a question why this gonus pulpus is present atrium can flush the blood directly to the lungs but here is the gonus pulpus acting as a defibrillator depulsor depulsator so depulsator what it is doing once the pressure in the ventricular pressure is increasing this valve is opening once the valve this is called third valve we can tell is a mm, this is a bonus pulpus and oh, pulpus valve this bonus pulpus valve will be opening open then when this pressure will be going very highly and going and this when it is collected the blood is collected over here so then it is going to the ventral aorta then ventral aorta this is like a grill like a structure which is present this act is this the lungs of the fish so you can have a question why this apparatus is present between the ventricle and to this lungs so because these capillaries of this fish is very very thin and is tiny structure if the pressure is going directly it may it these capillaries will get spoiled or it will be get damaged so then it is going there so when it is going there so the pressure will be reduced so the flow will be very very less so this is called efferent uh, vessels efferent vessels it is going inside that now we will see the body cells this is a Uh, this is the blood which is this is all the cells in the body the metabolic waste or or deoxygenated waste or deoxygenated blood will be collected and then it is going to the a this one is called the sinus venosus when the sinus venosus pressure is increasing the valve of the sinus venosus will be opening once it is opening it will enter into the atrium so once the atrium uh, open the automatically this sinus venosus valve will be closing as yes, a valve then when the pressure is increasing there it will be going uh, so if when, once the once the blood is enter inside this valve will be automatically will be closing it will be act as a separate chamber when the pressure is increasing more than that this valve yes, sa valve will be closing then the blood will be pushed into the ventricle so during the contraction of the ventricle and then this gonus pulp from the blood will be going from here to the gonus pulpus okay this all the blood is all the deoxygenated blood so the, this is i already i told you it is called the depulsator this depulsator so the pressure will be reduced so from that it, it will through the ventral aorta it will be go, going to the afferent vessels so these vessels will be taken this into the uh, this like grill like apparatus it will be where the small 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 capillaries when the uh, fish is uh, taking its uh, respiration inside and the oxygenation will be taken place then will be to the efferent vessels this is like exit vessels now the deoxygenated blood from here it is getting oxygenated in the uh, in this area grill chamber of this fish like the lungs act like a lungs then it is going to the efferent vessels and it is collected in a dorsal aorta so from the dorsal aorta this oxygenated blood is going to the cells of the body all the cells of the uh, body or the whole body space it is circulated so it is it is so it is called it is single time the blood is going and it is blood is staying in the apparatus and it is a closed system so it is called the single closed circulatory system we must know all the organisms are having a circulatory system or not if you see the unicellular organism like amoeba they have a circulatory system how they take their uh, nutrients from that 
so the unicellular organisms are taking their nutrients from the environment their body surface area is very very small so they exchange the um, uh, exchange the deoxygenated and oxygenated blood from the environment and they are very happy because they are unicellular organism whereas the organisms are becoming very big like it is like a multicellular organisms well, like uh, not like amoeba when it is coming like a mammals and they really need lot of energy and lot of this one their body surface they have mul multiple cells and then if you see the body surface area is more and they with the environment if they take the metabolic activity they take the oxygen and everything from the environment like a unicellular organisms and the deeper part of the cells cannot able to get the nutrients from the environment understand so now for that what we can do to get the oxygen for the deeper cells of the body there is a evolution of various system in our body let us see in detail if you see this is a multicellular organisms if you take our human body we have a trillion number of cells in our body so the deeper part of our body also having lot of cells if we are not unicellular organisms so we need to develop our nutrients to the deeper cells of the body if we take the nutrients from the external environment it's impossible so there is one organ which is developed which is called the lungs so uh, lungs which is developed so the lungs is bringing the oxygen also it to, to take it to the cell it is very difficult so take like this lungs taking to this cells is so difficult it does need some fluid like a substances is much essential so we have the blood so the blood is having the oxygen carrying capacity so the blood has to run through the deeper part of the cells we need some structure which is called the tubing which is needed so we it is evolution of some of the blood vessels right these blood vessels are there now blood is inside there these blood are supposed to reach the deeper portion of our body it does need something mechanical system which is to push pushing mechanism is essential so there is evolution of the heart is developed so heart is when it is pumping the blood is automatically will be going to the deeper part of the body so when you see the unicellular it is once the metabolism is taken place the waste is going getting going outside so as i told this is evolution of the lungs this lungs will be giving the oxygen this so to the blood it is getting oxygenated blood so it is taking into the uh, cells of the body of course there will be a waste correct so and oxygen alone it is not enough we does also need some of the nutrients so we this is a some digestive system so what is happening blood is the connecting well connecting one so whatever the nutrients we are taking from the it is going to the digestive system it is getting digested and it is through the receptor it is absorbed and it is going to the uh, inside the vessels in the it is absorbed by the blood and the nutrients are taken so to absorption you does need lot of chemicals and lot of enzymes are necessary so many of the organ like pancreas pancreatic fluid gall bladder or many of these organs are secreting the enzymes these enzymes are directly flow into the blood so these vessels are taken in into this body so this one so the cells for example you take pancreas is secreting the insulin so the insulin does need for this cells to take its own nutrients so the once the insulin is secreted it is in the blood it is absorbed by the cells so the cells are ready to take the nutrients right so 
so now this deeper part of the cells are very very happy because they are getting the nutrients so once there is they take this oxygen they are taking the nutrients and of course there will be some of the waste in this trillion trillion cells in this a big body structure it is not enough through exchange through or skin or something there is another structure is evolved that is called a kidney so the kidney the maximum metabolic waste are taken out taken out to the body in a form of a urine so this is how the uh, our circulatory system so the, in the circulatory system major three components which you can tell is a blood and vessels and the heart so blood and vessels and the heart it it is the major thing which which is playing a major role to taking the nutrients and oxygen to the deeper part of the cells next if you see if this is a heart there is some of the vessels which is bringing blood to to the heart and some will be taking the blood away from the heart so there are called some of the major veins are there major veins and some of the smaller veins and venules smaller veins will be there and the smaller veins will be have the lot of the small structure which is called the venules same way if you see uh, this is called the arteries so the lot of arteries will be there and this is the bigger vessels we can say this one and in from the arteries there are many smaller vessels are coming this is called arterioles from the arterioles there is multiple tiny structure small 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 vessels are coming this is called the capillaries so these capillaries only really exchange is taken place from the oxygen uh, oxygen is Uh, given to the uh, oxygen is uh, taken from the lungs and carbon dioxide given back to the lungs it's a very very thin thin structure so uh, this this uh, th uh, th these are all this called the exchange vessels the exchange vessels are playing a major important role in the circulatory system the arterioles have lot of smooth muscles so they can constrict and relax the constrict uh, cause the resistant to the blood flow which is which is called the resistant vessels so this is called exchange vessels this arterioles called the resistance vessel so arterioles breaks into very very thin thousands of vessels only we are calling as a capillaries why it is called exchange vessels because it is uh, the, this this mainly will be taken place by the the lungs where the exchange is taken place so this is called the exchange vessel so in the capillaries the blood will be very very slowly will be going if what will happen if the blood is going very fast there will be a breakage of this one so it is the capillary like a blood will go like a cat walk very 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 slowly because the diffusion is really taking place in that one artery if you take there is a million of uh, million of blood uh, vessels are there so it is million of capillaries are present there so that means in a one artery is very million means how it is so so very very smaller so the blood flow to the artery capillaries are becoming very very slow when the arteries are bringing the when the artery arteries are bringing the blood the capillaries do the real exchange after artery they bring the real exchange which is taken place they connect with the vein, venous side which is taken it towards the heart here the exchange of the oxygen and carbon dioxide uh, and the nutrients to the metabolic waste they are connected to the veins and connect to the small veins and is called the veni venules venules the venules joins makes the small veins the small veins are uh, joins together which makes the vinaculas so vinaculas so these are all the vinaculas or will be will be major veins will be very very big so they join into the inferior and superior vena cava